Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to solve a Bernoulli equation using the method of substitution. So a Bernoulli equation has the following form. dy dx plus p of x y is equal to f of x y to the n, where n is any real number. And so the Bernoulli equation looks very similar to a differential equation that we've solved before the first order linear differential equation. But the only difference is that on the right hand side we have a nonlinear term, this y to the n. So if we could just get rid of this y to the n, we would know how to solve this differential equation. So what we're gonna do is we are going to perform a substitution to get rid of this nonlinearity and reduce this nonlinear differential equation into a linear differential equation that we do know how to solve. So let's go over the steps that we need to perform when solving a Bernoulli equation. So the first thing that we need to do is put our differential equation in standard form. Next, we are going to make our substitution. u is equal to y to the 1 minus n, and dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. And the resulting differential equation is a first order linear differential equation. And then we're gonna solve our first order linear differential equation using the method of the integrating factor. And the last step is to resubstitute for u and solve for y. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example and apply this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So we have x dy dx plus y is equal to x squared y squared. And so our first step is to put our differential equation in standard form. So what we're gonna do is we are going to multiply our entire differential equation by one over x. So doing that, we get dy dx plus 1 over x times y is equal to x y squared. And then in our next step, we are going to substitute u is equal to y to the 1 minus n and dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx into our differential equation. So let's go ahead and start out by identifying what n is equal to. So n is just the exponent on our nonlinear term. So we have this n is equal to 2. So we have u is equal to y to the 1 minus n, and n is equal to 2. So we have u is equal to y to the negative 1, or y is equal to u to the negative 1. And now let's go ahead and find out what dy dx is equal to. So we have dy dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u. So we have y is equal to u to the negative 1, so taking its derivative, we have negative u to the negative 2, and then we have du over dx. Now let's go ahead and substitute u and dy dx into our differential equation. So here we have dy dx, and this is equal to this thing here. So we have negative u to the negative 2 du dx plus 1 over x times y, so y is equal to u to the negative 1, and this is equal to x y squared. So this y is equal to a u to the negative 1. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have negative u to the negative 2 du dx, plus 1 over x u to the negative 1 is equal to x u to the negative 2. And now as our next step, let's go ahead and put this into standard form. So let's go ahead and multiply this entire differential equation by negative u squared. So doing that, we have du dx minus 1 over x times u, and this is equal to negative x. 
So now we have a first order linear differential equation that we can solve using the method of the integrating factor. Now let me go ahead and erase this so we have a little bit more space. So now we have a first order linear differential equation. So let's go ahead and proceed as usual. Whenever we have a first order linear differential equation, we first start out by identifying what the integrating factor is equal to. And remember that the integrating factor is e to the integral of p of x dx. So we need to go ahead and identify what p of x is equal to, and p of x is this right here. Okay, so we have e to the integral of negative 1 over x dx, and this is equal to e to the negative ln of x, and now let's go ahead and move this negative sign up to the exponent, so we have e to the ln of x to the negative 1, and this is just equal to x to the negative 1, which we can rewrite as 1 over x. And let's go ahead and define x on the interval from 0 to infinity so that we don't have to worry about the absolute value. So our next step is to multiply our entire differential equation by the integrating factor. So let's do that. So multiplying this, we have 1 over x times du dx minus 1 over x times 1 over x times u is equal to negative 1. And so this left hand side is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the integrating factor which is 1 over x times u and that's by the product rule. And then on the right hand side we just have a negative 1. And now we want to take the integral of both sides. So on the left hand side we have the integral of the derivative of 1 over x times u, and on the right hand side we just have the integral of negative 1 dx. And so here we have the integral of a derivative, so the integral and the derivative just cancel out, and so we are left with 1 over x times u, and on the right hand side we just have the integral of negative 1, which is just equal to negative x plus c. And as our next step, let's go ahead and solve for u. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x. And so we end up with u is equal to negative x squared plus c times x. And now let's go ahead and resubstitute for u. So u is equal to y to the negative 1. So we have y to the negative 1 is equal to negative x squared plus c times x. And so we can rewrite y to the negative 1 as 1 over y. So let's do that. And as our last step, let's go ahead and solve for y by taking the reciprocal of both sides of our equation. So we have y is equal to 1 over negative x squared plus c times x. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you solve a Bernoulli equation using the method of substitution. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.